My name is Jason Baldwin, and I am a writer. I enjoy writing about the things I've experienced in life in general. Part of writing is my life. It's one of my few outlets to create something. That's why I like it. Some, something about it, you know, just, just makes everything relaxing. Sometimes I'll be in the hallway or going to chow hall, and I'll, somebody will say something, or I'll, I'll see something on TV or hear something, and I'm like, man, a lot of, line of poem will come to me. I'm like, I need to write that down, you know. When I write poetry and stuff, it's it's a it's not really a form of escape from my situation. It's a form of healing and creation to use my situation and what I'm going through to purge myself of any, you know, anything bad or negative feelings I might be having about where I'm at, and to a creative outlet, you know, this good. I can take what's bad and create something good out of it. And that always leaves me feeling satisfied. That's the best thing. Part of writing for me is, is reaching out to that creative part. It's like a plant, you know, it just grows the more I utilize that tool. And I want to share it with people and use it as fruit. People can take it and read it and in essence eat it and digest it and become healthy from it, you know. And I think it's too that it's healthy to put down on paper the experiences in life and what we get from them because it allows a certain degree of reflection and appreciation for those things. That's why I like to write. It makes things bearable. For me, the poetry part, that, that comes right out of my heart when I'm feeling that time. And what I'm feeling is based on what I'm going through. Like I said, that's a it's like medicine to me, you know, to be able to write about it. I've been thinking about some poems for boot camp, for marching and things and people I've met in there. I've met some really good people in there. Um, some people have life without sentences like I do. Some people have just a few years, a few terms of years. And, and I look at the different people and I'm like, man. How did we all end up in this one situation together? How can we use this situation to make our lives better and to use this as a starting point to make something great here? In fact, I wrote a poem a while back about being a prison, and I wrote, there's a line in there, hope is gold and all are not as rich as I, you know? And I try to give them, give the guys around me that richness, you know, give them that bit of, you know, currency to spend that hope because it can buy you know peace of mind and I'm not really physically you know like as you see me outgoing or outspoken you know I'm real quiet and I speak only when spoken to and things of that nature I'm real disciplined but when I'm free to write I really write what's inside of me which is my which is who I am my persona my soul comes out and spills out onto the paper and that's the part that's unrestrained, unrestrained by any type of strict rules or guidelines or anything like that. I'm allowed to be free in that moment, you know. And that's one of the other things I love about writing because that's my freedom. First thing I wrote after coming here, it was a poem about Judge Burnett. <laughs> I wrote it right after um, I got convicted. You know, I was scared to death of my attorneys. You know, tell me, hey, it's going good. You know, just be quiet, be calm. And I had faith in him, and trust. You know, and but then at the end, when Judge Burnett said the jury found me guilty and everything, and he asked me if I had something to say about it. I told him, yeah, I'm innocent. He was like, well, it doesn't matter. You know very found different. It was like, man, how could he not see, you know, how could he not know that I am innocent and why would he not even listen? And it was just real hard, but the poem was about how his um his gavel's bang couldn't couldn't hammer truth away, you know, it's gonna be heard, you know. 
everybody's got a unique situation. Everybody's got things in their life that they don't necessarily want to be going through or don't enjoy or don't like, but man, we gotta stay strong and stay focused. And if it knocks you down, get back up, and dust off, and keep going. Cause you know, life is like that. It's great, it's wonderful, it's a blessing. It's a gift and we only live it once.